It's lunchtime, and today's meal is going to be another meal from Wild Zora, this time mountain beef stew. If you're interested in seeing what this looks like and tastes like, keep watching. Okay, before I start talking about the meal itself and then start preparing the meal, I thought I'd just share something else that came from Wild Zora. So I brought out a few of the Wild Zora selections with me today to try out. And right now I'm having one of Wild Zora's instant teas. This one is the Chai Organic Tea. And it says it makes 12 to 14 ounces. I think I may have been short it myself a little bit on the water. So I'll let you know in a second what it tastes like. So one thing I've learned about using instant tea is, you know, on a, on a hot day like it is today, you don't always want a hot drink, but you can make a nice tea immediately with instant tea. So that's in fact what I've done is I've just mixed it in with about eight ounces of maybe a little less. I think I'm going to have to <laughs> add some water to this. About eight ounces of cold fresh water to make an instant tea. Now mind you, it's not sweetened, so let's see what it tastes like. All right, I need, do need to add a little water. Boy, that's nice. You know, chai, if you've uh, ever had chai tea, it can be a little spicy depending on, on uh, who makes it, the cardamom and other things that are in chai tea. Uh, this is very good. It doesn't really need sugar. If I had a little bit of something sweet to put in it, like honey or, or a sweetener of some type, then it might make it a little easier. But right now, it's, it's fine. I think it'd make a great hot tea, but it's making a nice cold tea. Yeah, I think I will add a little water to that. Just <laughs> thin it out a little bit. Okay, let's talk about today's lunch. So today's lunch, once again, is the Mountain Beef Stew from Wild Zora. And I'll read you a little bit about it and then tell you how I'm going to prepare it. So this is another one of the Paleo Meals to Go lineup. Freeze dried, just add water and you can do this right in the pouch. And just again, some of the uh, writing on the front of it, it has no gluten, it has no grain, no nuts, no milk and no sugars and important, very important to some people, no nightshades, which makes it AIP uh, autoimmune protocol compatible. It is made with 100% grass-fed beef and uh, all, the all the ingredients are organic and the uh, organic ingredients are carrots, kale, broccoli and mushrooms. So the instructions as I have uh, are the same as with the last meal I had from Wild Zora. Open bag at tear notch, remove small white oxygen absorber packet, Reseal the bag, invert the bag, and shake to distribute spices which may have settled. Pour approximately 1.5 cups, preferably hot water, directly into the bag. Stir, reseal, and let stand 5 to 15 minutes, depending on altitude. Mix well. Add salt, pepper, and ghee to taste. Eat and enjoy. So very, very simple. And one of the things I mentioned before with the last meal that I, I had from Wild Zora is what's really cool is what's not in here. There are no ingredients. I read you the entire list of ingredients. Uh, actually, that's not quite true. There are a few more. So once again, the ingredients are grass-fed beef, organic carrots, organic kale, onion, mushroom, celery, broccoli, green onion, organic parsley, organic garlic, sea salt, organic thyme, and marjoram. So that, that's it. There is no preservatives added to this. It's what they call minimally processed and no artificial ingredients. So I'm quite excited to try this one out. Nutrition wise, this is a single serving, but a good size single serving. It's 410 calories. I'm not going to go through the breakdown of all the uh, uh, ingredient or all the uh, factors inside of the nutrition, but it's 410 calories. And while that may not sound like a whole lot of calories, remember that high protein level meals will carry you a lot further than high carbohydrate uh, type meals. In fact, this one has 37 grams of protein. So that's a good size meal to have, even though it doesn't sound like it at 410 calories. It is actually a good size meal. It'll carry me the rest of the afternoon. And I did bring some ghee with me to add to it. So ghee is clarified butter for those of you who weren't aware. And uh, ghee keeps well in warm temperatures and it will add not only flavor, but a lot more calories to the meal. All right, let's heat some water up and put this meal together.
So I'm doing things a little differently today. I, this is not something I, I carry with me very often, and that is a, a butane gas stove. Uh, so I, I brought one out today that uh, I've used a few times, but like I said, not very often. And uh, I guess the major reason why I'm using it today and certainly not having a fire is we're under a total fire ban right now. In fact, the fire ban or the fire risk is at extreme. There are two forest fires burning in Nova Scotia right now and although they don't know the causes of them we've had very very dry weather I've never seen such a low humidity and very high winds and that's just like taking a hairdryer to the woods and it's just they're so ripe for fires right now that I would not risk having even a charcoal fire so the gas fire is what I'm going to use in fact I went one step further and I'm doing this on rock because reflected heat from a pot on top of one of these stoves can reflect quite a bit of heat downwards and I don't want to be doing that on top of the duff so I'm on top of I don't think I need this right away the uh, windscreen but let's get this going all right, and I'm heating my water in something I have bought myself not too long ago, and this is a Sea to Summit pot. So I'll get that water up to boil, and then we'll put the meal together. Uh, what I want to show you while I'm waiting for the water to come to a boil, I've got the temperature turned down low, by the way, otherwise this would just really heat up, is another thing from Wild Zora that I brought out with me today that I'm having. These are one of the meat bars. I mentioned them in an earlier video that they have a line of meat bars and this one is known as Parmesan beef. And I opened it up a little while ago on the trail, sat down, had a quick snack and I'll show you, I kept, there's two small bars in it and it doesn't look very big, I know, and maybe to some people it won't look very appetizing. If it's reminiscent of beef jerky and that may be for a reason that's the way Zora refers to this as a modern type of beef jerky but there's more than just beef in it so I'm going to give you a quick rundown on this one so for in ingredients it is grass-fed beef parmesan cheese uh, organic vegetables and fruit and it names them red bell peppers apricots dates basil kale tomato garlic, celery, sea salt, and spices. So again, no uh, artificial preservatives. And what you end up with is a small little meat bar that is still chewy. It's not uh, really chewy like a piece of jerky is. It's quite, uh, well, if you've ever made ground beef jerky, that's about the texture that this comes in. Is it like ground beef turkey? So it's quite nice. Now, they look like they're small, and they are. They're not especially big. But for the, for the pair of them, there is 110 calories. Again, this doesn't look like much of an energy bar, but it is a mostly protein product. The proteins are quite high in this compared to the carbohydrate. And this will carry you a lot further on the trail than, well, a sugar bar, what I call a sugar bar, like the Cliff Bars. Don't get me wrong, I like Cliff Bars, and they will give you energy, but not a sustained energy, not like what protein will give you. So I thought I'd share that, and yes, my water has come to a boil, so give me a minute, and we'll get this water into the bag, the Beef Mountain Stew. I guess my lunch is smelling pretty good. I have some company that are, have joined me. They're about 20 feet away. I made a pair of mallard ducks. I thought they would uh, take off when they saw me, but no, they're actually edging closer. Well, no lunch for you guys. You, you guys won't like this. You're welcome to sit and uh, keep me company, though. Okay, this is one of those videos where not everything goes the way you want it to go. And uh, uh, I just recorded the whole segment, putting the water in the meal bag here. So uh, you're going to have to trust me that I did. So what I had used is the Sea to Summit pot, and I put in my cup and a half of boiling water into the bag and then stirred it around and sealed it up, and now all I have to wait is five to 15 minutes. My experience is you don't have to wait 15 minutes, certainly, maybe five, maybe, five, maybe 10 at the most. And recall again that the instructions did say optional hot water, or preferably hot water, because you could cold soak this. In other words, you could put in a cup and a half of cold water and let it stand. And it will take longer than the 15 minutes, but the cold water will rehydrate the meal. So if for some whatever reason you don't want to stop and heat some water up, or you want to, or it's too hot, or you want to forgo carrying that type of equipment, you could prepare these meals cold soak and enjoy them that way. Well, I say enjoy. I, I don't know that I enjoy a cold meal like this. I think I want mine hot. So once again, I did add the hot water. I've resealed the bag. 
One thing the instructions didn't say was to stir the contents before resealing the bag, but I did that just to make sure all the contents were mixed in with the water. So I'll just wait a few more minutes and then we'll uh, put it in a bowl and have a taste test. All right, so seven, not, not quite 10 minutes. I, I went ahead and uh, transferred the bag of uh, rehydrated lunch into a bowl, my Sea to Summit X series bowl, and I haven't tasted it. Man, that's quite hot. I'm gonna have to put something underneath this. Keep, uh, keep, so I don't uh, get too hot. I'm gonna give you a look at this. I'll give it a taste test. I know from past experience that quite often these meals need a little spice. So I have a spice kit with me that I can use, but uh, let's start by giving you a look at the meal. So you can see quite a bit of beef in there, as well as the carrots, the broccoli, the onions, mushrooms, quite a few other herbs and spices in there. And all right, let's back into position here. Now, I haven't added the ghee or any spices. So today I'm using something. I'm, I just uh, did a separate video on this. My uh, friend Rob Young, who owns a business, he and his wife Janet own a business known as the Crafted Woodsman small home-based business. They make a lot of traditional type bushcraft items. He sent me a knife fork spoon set. So GSI spoon, that's what I'm going to be using. Thanks again, Rob. Let's give us a taste. I'm not sure I'd need any spices. It's not salty, but the last meal I had from Wild Zora, I needed to add a little bit of salt too. This one I don't think I do. It does say sea salt is included. And I think there's probably enough sea salt in this that I don't have to add any more salt. I don't think I need to add anything to this. One more taste and then I'll decide. Mmm. Nice big chunk of beef in that one. What do I have in my spice kit? Hot sauce. I don't think so. Sea salt. Garlic. Maybe I'll add a little garlic. That's what I'll do. A little bit of garlic. And I'm going to add the ghee. So here's the ghee that I brought out today. So ghee again is clarified butter. You can see it runs very liquid. So you have to have it in some type of container. Keeps well because all the milk solids that normally spoil in butter have been separated from it. But it's, it's butter. That's what it is. I'll pour half of this. So maybe a little bit more than a teaspoon. Not quite a tablespoon on it. See if I can mix that through a little bit. See what the garlic and the butter did. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just those two things. And uh, it added a lot of flavor. This is a good meal. Everything is rehydrated. Everything is small, so you don't see big chunks of carrots and broccoli and everything else. It's all quite small. I felt last time that it may have been my excessive stirring that had broken it up, but when I looked at the dry ingredients before adding the water in this time, I could see they were all cut quite small. So don't look for big chunks in here. The beef is, is actually the biggest chunks, and there's a lot of beef in here. And the mushrooms would be the next biggest chunks. Oh yeah, that is nice. That is very nice. Okay. I'm gonna finish this meal off. I have a few more comments I wanna make before we wrap up, so stay around for a few minutes while I enjoy this. So I have finished my lunch, the Wild Zora Mountain Beef Stew, and I'm, you know, I really, really enjoyed this. This is one of the better meals. I've had a number of freeze-dried meals, 
and I, I have to rate this right at the top. Now, having said that, you do pay for a little extra for what you're getting here. So you're getting just the absolute healthiest organic grass-fed beef, uh, organic vegetables, no added uh, preservatives or anything else. So you're paying extra to get that, but the quality is just top-notch. Yes, I can absolutely recommend this meal. If it's if your the quality of your meal is important to you, and you have to have nothing but the best in terms of healthiness, uh, this is an absolute winner, without question. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I, I'm ha sitting here having some coffee, and I have yet to try uh, show you this. And this is the dessert that I'm going to have with my coffee today. This also is from Wild Zora. And this is from their real fruit snacks. This is the tropical fruit mix in this case. I've had a few of the others from this. So basically it is dried fruit, variety of fruit, all organic fruit, no added sugar or preservatives. Let me open this up. It is a Ziploc bag, which is nice because I've never finished a whole bag. It's, just a, it's a trail meal, it's a snack. And uh, love the smells of these things. What I've, always, what I've looked at when I look at they, they they're just dried fruit. I mean, like, there's nothing to it. What is this? I think that's papaya, pineapple. Oh, there's quite a bit of quite a few things. What is in this one anyway? Mango, banana, and pineapple. It wasn't papaya. It was mango. Mango, banana, and pineapple. Let's try a piece of the mango. Chewy. Like the other ones, they're not just some. Sorry, like the other ones, they're not something you just bite into and swallow. These have some substance to it. It's a dried fruit. They're still a little bit flexible, but they're chewy as well. But what an authentic flavor! I think I'll try what else is in here. This would be the pineapple. Oh, that's soft. Oh wow. That's sweet, naturally sweetened, you know, nothing added. Just the sweetness that came from the fruit itself. That's a winner. Okay. I'm going to sit back here on the edge of the lake, enjoy my coffee, have a few more pieces of that fruit for dessert. I did bring a fishing rod, I'm not sure, I think I'll cast my line out. I don't think it's a fishing, fishing kind of day, but that's why you bring fishing rods, to try it out. But until I see you again, get out and explore, and take that path less traveled, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.